Welcome to No Longer Conformed, my online preaching and teaching ministry. We're studying the book of Matthew, the first gospel. In this session, we're looking at Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 12, a critical need for prayer. Let's read those verses. Matthew chapter 7, beginning with verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you, then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Jesus taught his disciples to seek God. Be persistent in prayer, confident in expecting, and purposeful in serving. For every Christian who desires to effectively serve, prayer is critical. Why? Failure to pray is failure to persist. Stopping short of finding doors of service and missing life's, life's purpose. First, be a prayerful Christian. In verses 7 and 8, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. Ask, seek, knock. The New Living Translation has it right from the original language in the Greek. Keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, and whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Mark eleven twenty four. therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. John 14, 13, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 1 John 3, 22, and whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 5, 14 and 15, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Those who keep asking, receive. Those who keep seeking, find. Those faithful servants who keep knocking have doors open to them. So be a prayerful Christian. Second, be a confident and trusting Christian. Look at verse 9. Or well, what man is there among you? If his son asks for bread, we'll give him a stone. Or if he asks for a fish, we'll give him a serpent. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Expect a positive answer from God. James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift. And every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Romans 8.32 He who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? But remember two things, two things. Number one, God will hear and answer his children's prayers. But second, God will answer them with what is best for them. God has our best interest in his plans. 
His plans. So be confident in trusting Christians. And third, be a purposeful Christian. Verse 12, therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. The golden rule. Whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. Previous versions of this rule existed before Jesus, but were all in the negative. Rabbi Hillel taught, what is hateful to you, don't do to someone else. Jesus made it positive. Matthew 22, verse 37 to 40, Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Romans 13, 8. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. Jesus demonstrated love to us. We demonstrate love to others. God's purpose is carried out as grace touches people. Treat people the way you want to be treated, regardless of how they treat you. You have a great day.